Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Pacific Southwest Gold and Silver Awards, honoring seven legends. The Silver Awards are for 25 years in television, and the Gold Circle Awards are for over 50 years of television excellence. Now, our first inductee is Gloria Greer. She's tiny. She's tiny, she's mighty, she is multidimensional. And for the last 25 years, we've seen her here in the Coachella Valley on television. Let's take a look at the highlights of Gloria Greer's, Greer's television career. At the tender age of three, Gloria Greer was already comfortable in front of the camera. The daughter of New York producer-composer Anatole Friedland and newspaper woman Raleigh Roxy, young Gloria seemed destined to be a star. As a teenager in Hollywood, Gloria played leads in radio theater and later had a role on the soap opera, The Guiding Light. When she moved to Palm Desert in 1961 with her twin daughters, Gloria's career as a journalist moved full speed ahead. The Palm Springs correspondent for Newsweek magazine, Gloria also found time to be an interviewer for both radio and television. Her career here at KMIR TV6 started when the station opened back in 1968. This couple, former President Gerald Ford and President Betty Ford of the Betty Ford Center, <laughs> have his and her golf tournaments. What should a young person do who might think, gee, I'd like to be like Carol Burnett to have that kind of a career? Well, the first thing, oh, to have that kind of a career is one thing. Don't ever try to be no. like anybody else because right. then you'll never be the first one. Bob, how do you feel about getting your star? Oh, I think it's pretty nice. You're watching the KMIR TV6 News at 6 with Karen Devon and Greg Wiseman and Gloria Greer with Stars on the Desert. On the local scene. It's the first time that I've ever interviewed anyone sitting on a sculpture. <laughs> From Indian Wells, I'm Gloria Greer for KMIR TV6. Peter, no, Paul, Paul and Mary. Right. <laughs> I'm Gloria Greer for KMIR TV6. In 1997, Gloria became the first journalist to receive a star on the Palm Springs Walk of Stars. In 1999, she sold Sand to Sea, the magazine that she started in 1974 with her mother, Mrs. Lou Landers, to Palm Springs Life. Despite her busy TV schedule, she continues as society editor of Palm Springs Life and the new Palm Desert Magazine. In 2000, she walked away for more than 25 years with the NBC affiliate, KMIR, to launch her own half-hour talk show, Conversations with Gloria Greer, on Time Warner Cable. Her guests have ranged from Israel's Benjamin Netanyahu to Rita Redner, from Julie Nixon Eisenhower to the Tuskegee Airmen. The gas mask was invented by a black man. Thousands of soldiers' lives were saved. Did you already talk to this lady? <laughs> you this is me. the man. You told me you only going to interview important people. <laughs> what the hell they do? The election's home. I will not keep my commitments. But everybody was wanted son of a bitch drop dead and everything happens for the best uh, you know i had affairs with every one of my leading ladies except one well maybe we'll find out about that in a it minute was jack lemon <laughs> i love it and the old timers say you get sand in your shoes and i did and no matter where i go i'm always happy to get back here i love i love palm springs i love the area i love the people in it i love my work so i'm very grateful ladies and gentlemen please welcome Gloria Greer. Oh, and I can't see over it. Somebody has to be the opening act. <laughs> I do want to say how very, very grateful I am to the Television Academy, the Pacific Southwest region. When you've been in television, as I have for quite a while, I think there is nothing more important than being recognized by your peers. So I thank you so much for that. I do want to say something very briefly about the Television Academy, because I, I remember when it started. My stepfather was a film director named Lou Landers, 
And Paul Burke knew him well, because Lou directed Paul. Uh, and the very first year, one of the shows that was nominated for Best Director, Lou didn't win it that year, but it was Topper. And it meant so much to Lou to be nominated by this new Television Academy organization. So again, I'm grateful. And in a way, it's not an Emmy, but it's related. So it's for him. And looking around here while I was having lunch, I realized there are so many people here who over the years I have interviewed. And of course, any interview show is as good as the people who are on it. So I thank all of you for making this possible. Thank you.